Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world! Ho -ho. Look what I found. It's a bone. Hello, everyone. Maybe it's a dinosaur bone. What's a dinosaur, Small? That's a dinosaur bed on the cereal packet. <laughs> I hope there isn't a dinosaur in our garden. It's a Tyrannosaurus Rex! Woohoo! A Tyrannosaurus Rex? Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. Wow! I've wanted one of these for ages. He's big and strong with lots of pointy teeth. <laughs> Can you see him? The big dinosaur with the big teeth. Ooh. Ah! Ooh. <laughs> Don't be silly, Ben. There aren't any dinosaurs alive today. Dinosaurs lived millions and millions of years ago. Before you were born. Before your grandma was born. <laughs> and way, way, way before that. The only thing that's left are bones. And these brilliant models you get from cereal packets. <laughs> well, you know, I, I wasn't really afraid, little cook. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like we've got a customer, Small. I'm on my way. Woohoo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> What's that noise, Small? Well, that's your first clue, Ben. Our customer is digging in the ground to see what she can find. <laughs> hmm. Actually, I think I might know who this is. Does she wear a hard hat to protect her head? Yes, Ben. And does she dig up things like coins and pots and bones to find out how we used to live years ago? Yes, Ben. She digs in the ground to find clues about how we used to live. And what lived on our planet before us? Oh, I know, I know. It's an archaeologist. Yes, it's Amanda the archaeologist. Well, no wonder she's decided to come to our cafe. She must be really hungry after all that digging. So what can we cook for an archaeologist? Hmm. I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day, I went to see Amanda, the archaeologist. She was looking for a big dinosaur skeleton that was buried in the rocks. But Amanda had no idea where to start digging. First, all the archaeologists walked one way. Then, they changed their minds and all walked the other way. The sun was getting hotter and hotter. I realised I had to help them. I suggested to Amanda that they split into two teams. One group could start looking in one place and one group could start looking in another. Amanda thought that was a fantastic idea and finally they started to dig. It wasn't long before the first team shouted, We've found something, Amanda! Then straight away, the other team shouted, We've found something too! Keep digging! yelled Amanda. We rushed over to the first team and looked down the hole. We couldn't believe our eyes! There it was! The huge skeleton of a dinosaur's head! Wow-wee! 
we rushed over to the other hole. Can you guess what we found? Yes, that's right. It was the end of a huge dinosaur's tail. It wasn't long before the archaeologists had dug up the whole dinosaur. Amanda had found the famous dinosaur skeleton. It's a stegosaurus, she said. My favourite. If it hadn't been for you, little Cook Small, I don't think we'd ever have started digging. They all cheered. Little Cook to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. Oh, I'd love to see a stegosaurus. Have you got a stegosaurus in your collection, Small? Oh, no, Ben. And I would love to have a stegosaurus. There were hundreds of dinosaurs, and I do have many of them in my collection. But no stegosaurus, and I really want one. This is a diplodocus. And this is a supersaurus. They were as tall as tall buildings and bigger than a bus. <laughs> Right, this is a Triceratops. Look, three horns. <laughs> Tell me about the Tyrannosaurus Rex, little cook. <laughs> well, they weren't very friendly. They were meat eaters, and that's probably why they had pointy teeth. <laughs> I love my dinosaur collection, but more than anything, I'd love to have a Stegosaurus. Well, Amanda, the archaeologist, loves dinosaurs too, but I've still got no idea what we can cook for her. <laughs> I know, Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's Book. <coughs> hey, hey, here we go, Small. I found the perfect recipe. Amanda will love this. Dinosaur mash. Oh, that's brilliant. In fact, that's amazing. Remember that the Stegosaurus is my favourite dinosaur? Yes. And remember that the Stegosaurus is Amanda the archaeologist's favourite dinosaur? Oh, yes. Well, this dinosaur mash looks just like a Stegosaurus. <laughs> hey, look, he's even got the rows of spikes on his back. Oh, brilliant. Well, Amanda will certainly love this. You read out the ingredients, little cook, and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need potatoes. Potatoes? Well, I got those from the garden this morning, so here we go. Potatoes, yep. Peas. Peas in the fridge, fresh or frozen. There we go, got the peas. Cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese in here as well. OK, yep. And asparagus. Asparra what? Asparagus. <laughs> <laughs> well, Small, I don't think we've got any of that. But we have got everything else we need for the recipe. So why don't you whiz off and get some asparagus and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea. See you later. <laughs> hey, why don't you come along too? Whoops. Go small, go small, whiz away. I wonder what he'll see today. There's a train. Choo choo. the right place. Asparagus are growing in this field. Let's take a closer look. Asparagus is a vegetable and it grows out of the ground. These people are picking the asparagus. Asparagus are tall and straight. <laughs> the top is called the tip. The rest is the stalk. All the asparagus are collected and put into boxes. The asparagus are washed to get any dirt off. Now they're weighed and put into bunches, ready to go to the shops. Remember to eat all your vegetables. Bye! Way! 
I'm back! Did you get the asparagus small? I certainly did, and I learnt all about it. <coughs> Whoa! Fantastic, small! Did you know that asparagus is a vegetable that grows straight up out of the ground and it's got a pointy tip? No, I didn't, Small, but I'm really excited about cooking this dinosaur mash. Come on, then. Let's get started. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruit smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean and, and ready, ready to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to dinosaur mash? You do. There were potatoes. 800 grams peeled and chopped in half. Peas. Six tablespoons, fresh or frozen. Cheddar cheese. Four tablespoons, grated. And asparagus. About 12. Whoopee! Let's get started! I've put the potatoes into a pan of cold water and then brought them to the boil. And remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because it's a hob job and the hob is hot, hot, hot. On goes the lid. When the water starts to boil, turn down the heat and simmer the potatoes for 20 minutes. I'll turn down the heat so that they can simmer. In another pan, cook the peas in boiling water for about five minutes and steam the asparagus above them. If you don't have a steamer, you can place a metal sieve over the pan and place a lid on top. The peas are boiling now, so I've put the asparagus into a steamer or sieve and place it over the pan. Like that. Pop the lid on. The asparagus will cook in the steam. And remember, this is another job for your grown-up helper to do. The peas, asparagus and the potato are all ready now and I've drained all the water from them. Smish, smash, time to mash! <laughs> what was that, Small? Add the grated cheese to the potato and then it's smish, smash, time to mash! OK, adding the cheese. There it goes. And mash it all up together. What's next, Small? You carry on with the mashing, Ben, and I'll have a look in the book. If the potato's a bit too lumpy, you could always add a couple of drops of milk. When the mash is ready, put it onto a plate and make it into a dinosaur shape. Spooning the mash onto a plate. There we go. And then we can begin to shape it. Hey, Ben, that's beginning to look like a stegosaurus. <laughs> Next, cut the tips of the asparagus and arrange them along the dinosaur's back. The real name for these spikes is plates. They're big pieces of bone. Mmm, lovely asparagus. So, here we go. Onto our dinosaur's back. There. And there. Oh, these look great small. And another one there. And then on the other side, like that. That really looks great, Ben. And a final one in there. Ask a grown-up helper to cut some slices into the asparagus stalks and fan the bottoms out like branches. 
Then you can arrange them around your dinosaur like trees. There we go. And the last one, just there. Hey, great. They look just like trees. Can you guess what dinosaur I am? <laughs> oh, I know. You're the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hey, right. Finally, spoon some of the peas onto the plate to look like stones. A few more down there. Oh, yes, they look brilliant. There we go. And I'm going to pop two of them on either side as our dinosaur's eyes. There we go. Hey, hey, our dinosaur mash looks really tasty. Amanda, the archaeologist, will love it. I think you're right, little cook. Let's see, shall we? Dinosaur mash coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our job Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Aha! Here comes the plate. Oh, yes, Small. And it looks like Amanda, the archaeologist, enjoyed her dinosaur mash. Look, she's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Oh, let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for my dinosaur mash. I was hungry after all that digging. It was scrummy and me umptious. I tried digging in your garden. I didn't find any dinosaur bones, but I did meet the dog from next door. He said you dug his bone up and he'd like it back, please. Oh, dear! <laughs> I also did some digging in my cereal packet and found a Stegosaurus. I thought Small would like it for his collection. From Amanda the Archaeologist. Whoopee! At last I've got a Stegosaurus. Now I've got a Stegosaurus a Diplodocus, a Supersaurus, and a Triceratops. And a Tyrannosaurus Rex Mall with big, long, pointy teeth. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> big cook, little cook, welcome to our cafe.